Welcome back, friends. Bolts and Stars Company is a local design studio based out of Irvington that makes unique stickers, clothing, art prints, and more. Welcome to designer and co-owner Lindsay Schmidt to tell us more. Hi, Lindsay. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys? I'm doing awesome. Very I'm so excited about this. I'm I a can't quit looking at all of them already. <laughs> sticker Thank nerd. You. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about your business. Yeah. So Bolts and Stars is a design and illustration studio. We're based out of Irvington, and my husband Rob and I are the two people behind all the things you see here. Two people behind all of this. Yes. That's crazy. What inspires some of your designs and things like that? Yeah, so we're both working in the tech industry. We have an amazing sticker collection, and we're both creative. We love drawing, illustrations, always have side projects going on. Yeah. And we just needed an outlet to kind of like get all that energy out after work. Yeah. So we started with tech and coding stickers as like our initial launch last year on Etsy. Okay. And we've kind of just expanded into other topics. So we always think like, if we were out and about and saw this, would we buy it? And that's yeah. kind of how we approach um, the stuff we make. We've that's great. Expanded into Indianapolis neighborhoods. I love this. That's kind of our current endeavor right now is chipping away at some of the major uh, neighborhoods and seeing where else we can take it. Yeah, some of these iconic landmarks, uh, marquees as well in the city. We got yeah. Indy, Fountain, Fountain Square. Square. Irvington, Irvington, Woodruff Place. Awesome. I just finished Bottle Works and Little Flower. They're not here today, but chipping away at all of them. It. You could really yeah. hit, I mean, the entire state. And That's not, the goal. Not <laughs> That's um, the goal yeah. I love the kind of retro 90s vibe yes. that I'm seeing in some of this as well. Yeah. Walk us through some of the other uh, stickers that you brought with you. Yeah, so good call out. We have um, a lot of tech ones here. We love animals. Um, we're also into pennants, so we have different, you know, prides, you know, if you love coffee, pizza, Pop-Tarts. Um, <laughs> a Pop-Tarts There's pennant. no limit to what you could oh, be excited about. I love it. Um, Rob did a lot of the ones you see up here, so a side eye, you can never have like too many side good eye. side eyes. Um, <laughs> a play on emoji, so yeah. we have I love oh, oh. Yes, a hundred oof. Yes. One of our best sellers is this oof one. So <laughs> it's just like, what are some oh. words you say? How can we visually represent it? Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, all of our indie ones are also available as stickers. So fun. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I love, love the aesthetic. Talk yeah, to us about the shirts you. as well. Yeah. Um, we're also a really big t shirt nerd. So we have a big collection as well. And we kind of just take it design by design. So if something feels like it would look good on a shirt, uh, we just kind of want to have that good lived in feel and kind of approach it that way. So we have a plant, so keep it rad, and an indie shirt that I you can it. purchase. A shirt that says plants, plants. on it. Yeah. I love that. There's so many people out there who are like, I gotta get that I need right that. now. Yes. I need that. My yeah. lovers are like, that's for me, it's calling my name. I okay. think what's cool about this too is that people, we hear so often from viewers that people really do love to shop local and support yeah. small businesses. How can they do that for you and your husband? Yeah, so we have a couple of markets coming up that you can come visit in person and see all of this. So next week we'll be at First Friday at Hampton Design Studio in Irvington. Friend of the show. Big Google friend love. of the show. Good. They're awesome. Uh, we'll be at Market on the Monon on April 29th okay. in partnership with the Humane Society. And you can also go to Tuggles in Fountain Square today and come show. check out the prints and stickers so that you'll we be have. At Tuggles today. What time? Yeah. If people uh, want to go. We can just, you can go there today and oh, just kind of like check out there. So it's already check in. Check it out. Yeah, oh, it's man, already that's there. Great. I love it. Yeah. I, I love this pennant right here of yes. Indy. I just want to hold go this for up it. so people can see this. <laughs> yes. Check this out. Look at that. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Man, that's cool. I love it. Can never so have fun. too many pennants. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. What's next for you guys? Oh man. So we have so many ideas. We'd love to keep expanding our product line, obviously pursue more of the indie series. We'd love to partner with other businesses and do commissions or custom work if you have ideas there. So honestly, we're kind of in a big just discovery mode yeah. and That's kind exciting. of casting lots of nets and seeing what, what happens. Man, I'm excited so. to see about a year from now how this is going. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to have you back. Cool. Yeah. Go to boltsandstars.com, place an order. And what's great is if you sign up for their email newsletter, you get 15% off your first order of all the their merch. Give them a follow on social. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, this was awesome. really cool. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Appreciate it. Bet. Fun yeah. stuff. Well, hey, still to come, we're going to show you a preview of Reverie Garden at Newfields, an immersive audio visual dreamscape that was inspired by the natural world where you can play, meditate and reflect. That's right. But first, here's what Moody's Butcher Shop has in store for spring. Take a look. Easter is just around the corner, and I am here in the heart of historic downtown Zionsville with Eric Rissman, CEO of Moody's Butcher Shop that has everything you need for your family celebration. Eric, thanks so much for hosting me today. Well, thank you for coming. I Happy to see you. It. Yeah, thank um, you. We're, you know, Easter, as you said, is just around the corner, 
and it is usually a big family event. So we've got a variety of things that we want to talk about. Okay. Traditional Easter dinner is often leg of lamb or a ham. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I particularly favor is a rack of lamb. Okay. I've cut off a couple of the chops from the rack. They're delicious. It's one of my favorite meals. Since Easter is a big family event, mm -hmm. that it's all about entertaining. And what we have here is a charcuterie tray oh. with anything your heart desires, we can prepare as a charcuterie board. This is my love language right here. I like to graze before Easter dinner, so this is perfect. Terrific. Now, what we're also doing, since Easter is a huge Christian celebration, mm -hmm. that it also signifies the end of Lent. Yes. We're also celebrating the end of Lent with the week after Easter, we're doing double carnivore club points. Oh, okay. And carnivore club is our loyalty. So when folks come in, they'll get double points and we've got all our traditional meats. And what I've put out here is the two favorite steaks, which is filet mm -hmm. and ribeye. And this is our Berkshire pork chop. Why does that which look good? Is, is absolutely delicious. And then I put a different piece of meat that a lot of people don't know about. It's called a hanger steak. Okay. Traditionally, it's been called the butcher's cut. Okay. And the reason it's called the butcher's cut is because they covet it and hold it back for themselves. I see. Because it's so good. Okay. So um, that's something that we want our customers to try. Now, I want you to try one of these. And tough job, but someone's got to do it. I right? know, I know. <laughs> you can eat that just like a little lollipop. Okay. Right there. How would you recommend that people cook the, the rack of lamb, Eric? Well, I, I you typically roast the rack of lamb and um, wow. Mm. With mm. some rosemary. Okay. And this one oh, has good? some whole grain mustard on it. Oh, some mustard. So okay. uh, it's really an easy cut of meat. It's to fantastic. Cook. It tastes I, absolutely delicious. I'm glad you like it. Melts it. in your mouth, too. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I know our videographer here has oh. said he has never tasted <laughs> lamb. Roxy, so, get in there. Eric, if people want to find a Moody's Butcher Shop in their location and maybe sign up for those carnivore rewards, where should they go? Well, first, the original store is Avon. And then this store, the flagship is Zionsville. Geist and the newest store is in Nora. So there are four stores. And you can go on to uh, moodysbutchershop.com, find out more information. And there are tons of recipes for Easter dinner. That's great. Come on in wherever you are high quality meats and delicious. Eric, thanks so much for hosting. Happy Thank Easter. You. Happy Easter to you. You bet. All right, there's more now coming up right after this. I'm gonna get it on the charcuterie. <laughs>